what happens if you have a lookup table with hourly rate and the lookup value is the sheet name? So on each sheet, I need a lookup formula to look up that hourly rate based on one, two, three sheet names. Now these are Excel tables, and I need my lookup formula there to get the price times hours. But I want to show you a cool trick. I'm going to come below the table, select B16, and then I want to highlight all sheets at the same time. So I'm holding Shift, click. Now I'm on sheet 202. I'm going to use the function cell. This function is in every version that we use 2007 or later. And in the first argument, I want to say, I want the file name. Now, this is an odd function. We have to anchor it with a reference. So I'm going to say B16. And when I close parentheses and Control Enter, sure enough, it got the exact path, including at the end the sheet name. And watch this. Click on 300, exactly what we want. So that little bit right there is what we want for the lookup value. Now with all the sheets still selected, I'm going to F2. In Microsoft 365 Excel, we have it easy. I'm going to use text after tab. There's the text at the end, comma. Delimiter is the next argument. And guess what? The square bracket at the end, we'll put it in double quotes. And now text after, we'll get on each sheet exactly what we want, the lookup value. Now, if you're in earlier versions, you have to use replace. There's the old text. And the starting number, well, I want to start at 1. And the number of characters, I had to search for the square bracket in cell. That'll return the position. So 1 to whatever position, click at the end, comma, and the new text, nothing. Double quote, double quote. Close parentheses, Control Enter. So in any version, we can also get the lookup value. Now, if we go back to 202, I can't work across multiple sheets in an Excel table. So I have to deselect and create each formula one at a time. Now, that's the lookup value. You can use VLOOKUP if you're in earlier versions. I'm going to use XLOOKUP. There's the lookup value, comma, lookup array. I click lookup. And then there's lookup array for that. Click play field, comma, return array, hourly rate, close parentheses, control enter. And oops, at the top, F2, I forgot to lock. I'm going to select just the colon, F4, just the colon, F4. And because this is an Excel table, it doesn't spill. It automatically copies down. Now in the top cell, F2 times, and there's the hours, enter. And just like that, in each cell, I've looked up, based on the sheet tab name, the correct price. Now, because each table F2 is positioned in the same location, guess what? I can just copy this formula, Control-C, click on 300, top cell, Control-V, 355, Control-V. And if you don't believe it, F2, let's come and look. I'm going to select Lookup Value, hit the F9 key to evaluate. Well, it got the right sheet name. We'll highlight all of Lookup and do a dangerous thing. I'm going to F9 twice in a row, but I see it's the correct price. If I hit Enter, the formula is ruined. But if I hit Escape, the formula still remains intact. And sure enough, that's the correct price for 355. All right, that was a little fun with cell text after to look up based on a worksheet name, the correct price, and then calculate in each table the total fee. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.